first of all, sorry, I've been talking a lot, but I haven't introduced myself. I'm Eva de Kok, co-founder CEO of Feedback Fruits. Also in the call is Irmak. She is our head of uh, marketing that arranged everything around um, uh, 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 making sure that, that I would be able to pitch here. What I'm going to tell you about today is something that um, it's a it's a R&D project of Feedback Fruits. So it's not a product that Feedback Fruits has or is selling. It's an R&D effort that we did in collaboration with the TU Delft and with MIT X. We, but before I dive into that specific project, I will I just want to um, tell a bit about Feedback Fruits. So Feedback Fruits is a spin-off of the Technical University in Delft. Our core mission is to improve the learning designs and learning experiences at institutions for higher education, because we believe higher education is in this pedagogical transition and where for the first time the monopoly that universities used to have is being challenged because companies are starting to hire based on um, skills more and more compared to hiring on uh, just only diplomas and there are other companies um, starting to compete with universities as well. Why do we care about this? We care so much about this because a university is so much more than just creating soldiers for the workforce and creating these skills to get people into the workforce. It's a fundamental element in our design of democracy, if, uh, in, our, in our social design. It's the only institute that also prepares future leaders for, with the mental tools and the morality that is needed to drive uh, basically our societies forward in the right direction. We care very much about that. This makes us a bit of a different type of company. We're 80 people now operating in US, uh, um, Scandinavia mainly, uh, in Europe, and, and of course in the Netherlands, and also in Australia. Um, however, we always wanted to maintain our independence, so we're bootstrapped. Uh, because we really want to focus ourselves on solving this problem. Hence, our, the fact that we have an R&D team working on technologies that I'm now also going to share with you is because we feel that uh, there is so much that we still need to discover. Um, that's, plus, we shouldn't only build a tool that sells. We should build a, a search engine that is continuously looking at how we can improve, improve, improve um, these learning designs such that it will lead to those cultivating of these skills that we need for our uh, uh, the democracies. Well, this is a, maybe a bit of a fake story, but I, I think everyone, I hope it resonates with the people uh, who, um, whenever I talk about it like that. So, Feedback Fruits, we build tools to support engaging learning designs. But we, we are a mission-driven company we have, and we have an R&D team. And what I'm now going to show you is one of those mission-driven elements because, and I don't think I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here, but um, the role that, that publishers have in education is, is definitely something which, uh, which I think is part of the past, should be part of the past. There's a lot of good content out there, uh, very high quality. However, read it's there's still this gap between the, this high quality content and a student that is now studying for an exam and needs to pass it and has just another couple of days to study. It's this sort of sweet spot, spot that we try to uh, solve for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And um, while I'm doing that, I want to give you a bit of context. So this is a project that we've worked on two years ago, as I said before, with MIT X and TU Delft. So unfortunately, because we weren't able, and this is the full provoking element that I would like to discuss with everyone uh, in, in this call later, because we weren't able to find a product market fit for this product, we sort of have, have put it on the shelf. So we do not continue, we are not investing in development anymore, which I think is a big shame because it can be of, uh, of value. So is it correct that you see a YouTube video here? Sorry that I have to use a YouTube video here, but as said, it's on the shelves, so we don't have a. So, okay, so this technology, what it does, the core idea is it takes the 100 accredited sources of, open online, of online open courseware. 
taking MITx as one of them, Harvard, or all those ones that we know the material is at least curated and good enough to be shared. And then the type of material, it's, it's videos, ex explanatory videos, but it's also um, uh, uh, exercises uh, uh, and well, everything. So the use case here is a student that has a learning linear algebra exam and that uploads this exam to this system. And then the system automatically extracts the topics out of this exam. So here you see, okay, we automatically see it's about linear algebra, factor space, uh, system of linear equations, abstract algebra, etc. And then it searches through these uh, uh, sources in order to suggest open courseware that is explaining these specific elements. So for example, now you get this lecture six of MIT in linear algebra spring 2005. So, it, and our next, the next version that this video doesn't capture also shows you the video and then exactly in the video tells you, okay, this is when it is talking about, uh, for example, linear algebra. So if, if I, I think I have that, uh, yeah. So it, it jumps right away at the moment of this video. And when it starts talking about specifically, uh, uh, for example, one of the, the core features that First, sorry, the, 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 the topics that it has. So what it does, how we, how we, the technology works here is as follows. So um, we, what we do, I'm making sure that I, yeah. So we have, we built this engine that, um, first of all, our sort of break, breakthrough has been the ability to build, build a knowledge graph. So understanding, not only how our topics connected, but what is the hierarchy between those topics? And that's what we refer to as a knowledge graph. Then what we do is we take these depo uh, repositories of material and we map them on, on, on this knowledge graph. So where is it? And then what we do is we take that exam in this case, extract those uh, topics and then map it as well on that same knowledge graph. And there where we have the most overlap, that is, the, uh, that gets the highest search uh, results. So what you see here is a design that allows for different types of use cases. So the use case that I just showed you is an actual uh, standalone website and where a student uploads it. But what we've also built is an integration into existing, le existing learning management systems. Well, we copied that from our sort of normal tool suite because we have this integration available, but then it goes into this course, it analyzes the information that's already there in the course. So for example, how are weeks structured? What, what are the titles of the weeks? Is there already material out in those weeks? Then we scan that material in order then to suggest online open courseware for that specific course where the use case is a teacher wants to um, create more learning paths, not just one because, uh, well, this is a trend, right? We want to have more personalized learning, but how is this teacher going to find all that material? Well, automated through this through, through, uh, through this system, as well as a browser plugin and where you could, you know, you're, you're here, you're in the plain geom geometry, uh, geometry in uh, Wikipedia, and you have this plugin saying, hey, explain me what is here because I can read it, but I still don't really understand. And then it suggests this open course where to actually um, explain the, the, the topics that are described here. So this has been a project that we've, as said, worked on uh, uh, with quite intensively with quite a lot of people. However, we've never been able to really build something that sort of, um, this this we this has been really a technological endeavor, us being more an engineering company coming from Duda of working with uh, MIT, hence the big uh, uh, um, pitfall that that we could make is you start from the technology perspective. That's what we did. So I think we made quite some technological breakthroughs, but we've never been able to really find that product that could that actually took off. So yeah, I guess that's where I am, and I guess the open part of this session is I would definitely want to hear your thoughts on on this and also on the fact that it's now actually laying on a shelf getting dusty 
um, in, 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 instead of actually being used for where it has been designed for. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Bob, uh, back to the studio, I would say thank you. For, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This I hope this is. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think it's very interesting the way, as I put in chat, the way it both searches a curated collection, in this case, the MITx material, and then enables you to quickly jump. Because of course, the thing about all the repositories is that it takes a huge amount of time to sift through all that stuff to find something that's relevant and useful for you. And it feels like this is a tool that's helping you quickly access curated materials and then find the relevant things that pertain to what you're trying to learn. I guess it's, it, it was a bit of a jump for me though, to go from the MIT X material to Wikipedia. So, I got you. Oh, sorry, yeah. I that. so can you that, explain how that works? Like, cause I think that's also very interesting in terms of drawing on additional content, right? Beyond just the curated collection of MIT X. With you, Paul. So I think I, I, I did not explain this very well, sorry. So we're able to tap into all types of, of, of resources, right? Um, but what I wanted to highlight here is the big breakthrough has been this, this technology. So this knowledge okay. graph and the way that we're able to map it. But then in the front end, so the use cases that we support, they can be a very a variety of use cases. One of those use cases is that, um, browser plugin that I was mentioning mm. uh, where, where it does exactly the same thing instead of analyzing a document, it analyzes this web page in order to suggest your material to explain it. Mm -hmm. In this specific scenario, uh, this, uh, here, it analyzes the document that you drop here in order right. to explain it. Right, right. And um, this other scenario is a plugin into the learning management system and then takes the information from that course in the learning management oh, system okay. to do the that. same trick. So right. this is actually what I wanted to show. There's a lot of different types of use cases that we could think of. However, for us, it's hard to understand. We didn't, we did not succeed in actually um, getting to that use case, which <laughs> took off in the market. And, and right. therefore we ditched it and we continued with another AI project, which is now taking off like crazy. So um, yeah, also interested in seeing if we could help others out with this technology. Can, can I ask, um, so what's been the stumbling block uh, from sort of, I, I might have missed it, but um, uh, from putting putting this out there at the moment? Like why is it sitting on a shelf gathering dust? I got, I got you. Well, there's a couple of reasons to this. Uh, our sort of go-to market strategy was replay. So if you go to MITx Open Course uh, website, it has I think 100,000 unique users every month. Our core, our go to market strategy was replacing that search engine with this one. However, I think I have to be polite here in, in saying it the right way, but I hope uh, no one feels offended. There was more to it than only technology to get that uh, landed. And unfortunately, it didn't, therefore. So we sort of lost that, that battle. Then we tried another way, which was actually having it as a as a, 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 a browser of a learning management system plugin. But then we just saw that teachers didn't. So we have a, our logo is a tool suite. So uh, sorry, a, a fruit basket. And we have a lot of different types of fruits and we'll check which fruits do people pick. This one wasn't just picked a, a lot by teachers. <laughs> and then I guess uh, it sort of, um, it drained our, basically it is R&D. It was in an R&D phase. So because we couldn't find that product market fit, uh, we jumped on to the next thing and um, hence uh, this is on the table. However, we still love it. There are engineers in our team that still sort of have a big heart for this. Uh, uh, but yes, we're just, um, our distraction goes too much away to that new project that actually is taking off. Yeah. Um, can, I, can I ask if, um... I might have an idea for a funding solution for you. Um, is the software that you're building it on, is, are you 
happy to have that as out there. The reason why is because Grant for the Web is giving out um, some big grants that you could kind of put their monetization um, tool on this so that if people wish to, you know, monetize, like, you know, to, to sort of give back to the project, they, they could. Um, and I'm, I'm wondering if, um, I, I don't know if it would fit or not, but, but there's been some pretty huge grants they've given out to some companies that are, that are creating, you know, open tech. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, yes, we're open for this. For sure, it's uh, it's it's it, this is not something that our core business model is relied on, relying on. So it's and it's it's a waste if it's on the shelf. And there's a lot of effort going into has been going into this so to see if in some sort of extent we can make this ready for to be open sourced and then open source it. Yes, there are already some sub libraries of this project already open source. If you go to our GitHub. Uh, um, uh, page of feedback foods um but please let, yeah let's 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 get in contact i'll make sure you, I'll, I'll connect you to our lead uh, engineer uh, um and we'll take it from there now, i should please specify sure. i'm i'm not with grant for the web but they've given me a grant recently so i can i can pass you along all the information on how to get it, get in touch with them that that, that that i already understood yes okay but good I, uh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry don't don't worry about it yes yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm not sure exactly uh, erica where what what your background is um, but well, my, i'm, my I'm a storyteller and an educator and kind of um a, a self-taught um tech geek uh I, oh. I i don't do the level of things that you do but uh but but i i i do sort of dabble and and build stuff 